Hey everyone, my name is Thomas Little, and I just want to do a few plugs before we get started on our video. You can reach me on Twitter at Thomas Little DBA. You can reach me on Facebook, and make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channels. A lot of great, a lot of great videos coming out uh, and alike. So let's go ahead and get started on our video. SQL Server licensings can be purchased in different ways. They can be purchased via retail, volume licensing programs, third party, or the free downloads. Some things to consider uh, when you are looking to purchase. Uh, Enterprise Edition can only be purchased, cannot be purchased via retail. Uh, the Web Edition can only be purchased via a SPLA license agreement. And also remember that additional licenses of SQL Server on the same physical and virtual machine only need one license. So some terminology you're going to need to know as we go through this course. Uh, a physical server is the actual server running Windows and SQL Server on it. It's a physical machine. The physical processor is the chip inside of the physical server um, that may have one or more cores. And then the physical cores are the smaller units inside of the physical processor and they're usually grouped in two. The the display that you see underneath the table here in this slide, this depicts a physical server with two physical processors, each having six physical cores. So there are two types of licensing models that uh, Microsoft offers. There is the there is the per core licensing model and the server plus cow licensing model. So in the core-based licensing model, a physical, the physical operating system in which SQL Server is running on must be licensed, and SQL Server or any of its components must be licensed. So what this means is that you cannot separate the products onto different physical machines. For example, you can't run the SQL Server database agent on one physical machine and also run reporting services on another physical machine under the same under the same license you need you would need to have two separate licenses even though you don't have on your reporting services machine you don't have the database engine running you still need to license the actual reporting services installed on that machine um, an unlimited number of users can connect to uh, your server when you're under this licensing model and you must have a minimum of four core licensing uh, for a server. So in our and licenses are actually sold in two packs. So in our model that we have depicted here we have a physical server with two physical cores and six physical cores per processor. That gives us a total of 12 cores. We divide that by two meaning in two packs, we, ha we would have to purchase a six core pack license for SQL Server on top of our license for the operating system. In a server plus cow licensing model, again, the operating system must be licensed, uh, that is running SQL Server, and you must purchase a license for each SQL, for each SQL Server and a license for each device and user. So there are two types of cows. There's device cows and user cows. User cows are an actual human being being licensed to access SQL Server, and device cows are an actual device using SQL Server. Could be a kiosk, maybe, and alike. Between the two license models, you need to make sure that you're talking to your Microsoft rep or your third-party rep about what your environment looks like to make sure that you're in the right licensing model. Because there could be times where a server, a server plus cow model does not make sense and a per core model might be a better choice for you. But again, you want to talk to a rep, you want to talk to who you're buying your licensing from in order to make sure that you're getting the best value out of your licensing. So licensing SQL Server 2016, um, you can still use both models. You can license individual virtual machines. Um, and uh, if you want to cover your entire virtualized environment, 
uh, you can cover every single VM that you ever have in a software assurance and enterprise edition licensing model. Uh, again, I would recommend that you talk to whom you're buying your products from you know, to make sure you're in the right licensing model. You do not want to get into a situation where you're not in compliance with Microsoft because you don't have the right cores. So, a um, little disclaimer on this video, make sure you're talking to <laughs> your your rep about how to license your environment. Um, in this particular scenario, so if we were to look at this uh, diagram, Server 1 has four virtual cores. And so in a uh, four virtual core model, they would actually need four licenses. Uh, in Server 2, we actually have two, um, we actually have two physical cores uh, in server two, so we we would have to purchase still four licenses. Now, why do we have to purchase four licenses in this individual virtual machine? Well, remember, like I said, there is a minimum of four. So even though you have two physical cores um, in your virtual machine, you still have to license for four. It becomes a minimum of four, and then everything else after that becomes uh, a two-core pack. So that was the end of our licensing model. I want to thank you for joining this video, and uh, we'll move on to the next session.